Don't want to obsess, but we want to be concerned. Don't want to stress out, but we want to be mindful, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do, just be mindful. Welcome back, welcome back. I wanna say what's up to all my subbies. What's up? I wanna say what's up to all the newbies checking me out. That's okay, come on in. We're all welcoming here. Come on in, everything's chill and cool and laid back, come on in. I wanted to come in here really quickly and yeah, I saw something I'm gonna tell on myself, okay? I'm gonna tell on myself and it looks like well, see, what had happened was I was doing my hair, okay? I was doing my hair and doing the normal stuff, whatever, and I noticed some hairs at the top of my head. I don't know if you can see it, okay? So I'm gonna try and get you in closer. Let me use a mirror, see if I can pull some up. I don't know if you can see it, and you probably won't be able to see it, but I noticed some shorter hairs sort of in the crown of my head okay so they're a little shorter so i don't know if you can see them i'm gonna bring you in closer 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 but i have some short hairs in the crown of my head so i was thinking to myself Self, Self, what is, what going, is going on? on? Why do you have, have short, short hairs, hairs in the crown of your head? head? Now, having, you know, short hairs here and there, you know, like I said, anytime you manipulate your hair, you can have a little bit of breakage here and there, but it shouldn't be noticeable. You know what I mean? You may see some things on the counter. Again, very little. If it's a lot, then it's another issue. But you know, here and there, anytime you brush or comb your hair. But this to me is noticeable because it's more than one hair. And then I saw it, I saw a couple of hairs like in between my parts. When I go to part and I comb it down and I lifted up my hair. And again, I'm gonna try and see if I can show you what I'm talking about. But I've noticed short hairs. Okay, so if it's noticeable or concentrated in one area, then we got to pay attention and we got to sort of do our super sleuth. We got to get our super sleuth on and make sure that we know why we're having breakage. So I was thinking, I was like, okay, it shouldn't be the heat. I've been using Marcel irons to sort of smooth down my hair. I thought that was it for a second, but I said no, because I've been doing that for years and that hasn't really had an issue. Plus, heat damage is a little different. Heat damage looks a little different than mechanical damage. Heat damage, you can sort of notice it as far as when you touch it, your hair seems dry, um, it seems stiff, it seems brittle, and a lot of times the ends, a lot of times the ends can look crinkled, okay? They can look crinkled. And your hair can be discolored too if it's heat damage. If it's heat damage, it can turn an orange or like it's losing its own natural color or it can be white. Right there at the point of contact with like a curler, it can look white or, or grayish, okay, because your hair is burned. I don't have that going on, okay? So I was like, it's not the heat. I was like, well, what is it? Is the heat in the Olaplex? Is it the water? Like I was trying to figure out what could it be? Is it the heat? Is it the Marcel's? Is it what I've been doing? I've been doing the same thing forever. What could it possibly be? It couldn't be the water. Is it the comb? I don't brush my hair with bristles. And then I said, wait a minute, brushing. 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 Could it be the brush? Now I've been using the Denman brush forever. Again, you notice a little bit of hairs here and there, but I've been using this brush for a very, very long time. Okay, so it's the Denman brush. And those who are not familiar, I use the Denman brush. Uh, I use it when my hair is wet. So I use it to detangle and to dry. So I use my blow dryer. I use this to help blow dry my hair and bring it straight and bring it dry. So being that it's not just on the top of my head, but also sort of dispersed 
throughout. Well, it's more so concentrated on this side of my head. And again, it's just errant hairs, okay? Errant short hairs, it's not a whole chunk. Um, it's not a whole piece missing, but more hairs than I feel comfortable with, okay? Especially now that I'm, now that I'm getting back to thickness and health, um, I'm really paying more attention to what's going on and what I'm seeing in my head. So I started thinking, maybe it's the Denman brush. Now, let me just say, the Denman brush is a very good brush, okay? I have a whole video about my two Denman brushes. I love them. Um, technically, there's nothing wrong with them. They're rubber brushes, they're not bristles, so they're not harsh on the strands. But like I said, I noticed more short hairs, and then I tried to figure out, well, when did I see a concentration of it? After I did the Olaplex, um, and again, I'm not blaming the Olaplex, I'm not blaming the Denman, but I think for right now, my hair is not tolerating the brushing right now. And I don't know what that is, um, but I'm going to pay close attention to it. But right now I'm looking at the brush. Right now I'm looking at the brush, but again, the brush itself is fine. But I think where my hair is still in recovery, I'm still trying to figure it out. Uh, again, Olaplex on its own, I love it. I use it, um, I've been using it for a while to help my hair grow back, but maybe the combination right now, or maybe because of last week, or maybe because of where I am, or because of the water and the Olaplex and the brush, whatever it is, my hair is not tolerating it right now. So I'm gonna lay, I'm going to go a little easy on the Denman brush for right now. That's the only thing that I can think of. Cause again, my hair, it, it still feels the same. It's not heat damage. Heat damage has its own look. It's, it has its own feel. And I would feel it, especially on my ends. If that were the case, it's not the Marcel's because again, I've been doing that for a while and sort of smooths it down. I think it's the brush or the brushing. I'll say it like that. I think it's the brushing, not necessarily the brush, but the fact that I'm brushing my hair. And I'm not harsh on my hair. I don't brush, you know, like I'm beating my hair into submission. I don't do that. So I was a little disappointed to see the short hairs in the top of my head. And again, if you're familiar with any of my, I think I sort of mentioned in another video, as far as breakage in, in my crown, when I used to use a bristle brush, and I stopped using a bristle brush because they're, you know, it's more tension on your hair. They grab your strands and it's just a little more tension. So I don't use bristle brushes, which is why I love the Denman. But I think for right now, I'm gonna lay off brushing my hair, brushing my hair dry with the um, blow dryer. And I think in lieu of the brush, which I love, I love you Denman. In lieu of the brush for right now, for right now, I'm going to use this comb uh, for when I blow dry. It's sort of a it's sort of a double tooth comb, meaning it's teeth on both sides. Okay, sort of so they sort of come together like this, teeth on both sides. But I think it's going to help me with the blow drying. I used to use this years ago uh, as well. I used to interchange with the Denman. Sometimes I use the brush. Sometimes I use the comb. But I'm gonna go back to the comb and just see what happens. You know, just see what happens. And in the meantime, with the short hairs, if you guys are familiar, you know what I say about breakage or anything like that. I trim the short hairs. I sought them out. I pulled them out, not pulled them out, but I pulled them up and I just made sure I trimmed all the little hairs and make sure they had a, you know, a good shot of growing back. I mean, they're gonna grow but I like to trim any damage or broken hairs. That's what I do. That's been my regimen as far as dealing with breakage or anything that looks funny. I like to start with a clean slate and that's what I basically did. I just wanted to come in here really quickly and address that and I was just like, oh my gosh, you know, everything was going fine. It's like, darn you, darn you, try to thwart my hair goal. But we're not getting thwarted, okay? We're not getting thwarted. But that's why I said it's good to check in with your hair and just make sure everything is going well. And I, you know, I don't want to be too dramatic. It's not a major setback. It's not a major setback. Again, I'm not having hair loss again. 
thank God. I'm not having a whole bunch of hair falling out or heavy shedding, or, and I didn't see a whole lot of stuff on the sink as far as breakage, but I noticed the short hairs in my crown. And I was like, what's going on? What's going on? So with that being said, I really wanted to pay attention and sort of sleuth out or, you know, super sleuth it out and see what was causing my hair to, what was causing the short hairs. And again, I have some in here. I don't think you'll be able to see them, but it's just little short hairs that sort of don't look uniform to the other hairs. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, okay, we were doing well. What do I need to stop doing? What do I need to start doing? So for right now, that's what I've deduced is that maybe it's the brushing, not the brush. I love you, Denman. But the brushing, for some reason, maybe my hair is not tolerating it this go round. I don't know whether the Olaplex had anything to do with it. I don't think so because I've done that combination before, but I will say that I noticed more. That's when I noticed the crown after I did the Olaplex. So I'm thinking maybe it strengthened my hair. And then I, I, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm at a loss. So I'm going to start with the brush. Okay. And again, it's not a major setback, but it's, but it's something that I noticed and it's something that I'm going to address right away. I'm not going to wait and see and not do anything. I'm going to adjust and see if that helps it. Okay. So with that being said, again, that's why I say to be incommunicado with your hair. When you see it, touch it, feel it. If you see anything different and if it feels different, or something is amiss, you definitely want to address it. I'm not saying to obsess over your hair because I don't want you to be obsessed. It's going to come along as long as you lay down that groundwork as far as a healthy regimen. We're going to get what we want. But in the meantime, things do happen, okay? And sometimes when we least expect it. And the little things we should address before they become big things. And that's the whole point. You got to stay in communicado with your hair. So with that being said, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do the comb and we're going to keep on growing our hair because we got a mission. And those who aren't on a mission for length, we're still on a mission for health, period. Okay. So we still need to pay attention to what's going on. Okay. So that wasn't too bad. We were in and out. Okay. So I wanted to come in here and just keep everybody. We're going to keep abreast of what's going on. And like I said, I don't want to be too dramatic and say, oh my God. But it was sort of a, oh my goodness. Okay. So I saw the short hairs, wanted to come in here and tell you guys what I thought and what I'm thinking. So we're going to move forward with the comb just for a couple of rounds and see if that addresses it. But I've been really good. You know, I'm not harsh on my hair. I don't use a whole lot of heat once a week. Again, heat damage is different. My hair is not damaged. It's just broken little, just little hairs, little alfalfas, you know, little alfalfas pulling up at the top. Okay, so we're going to address that. But other than that, I'm very happy. We're going to be doing some more stuff. So you make sure you come on back. So thank you so much for dialing in and showing up. I really do appreciate it. And yeah. We'll be back talking about some more stuff. So you make sure you come on back because we got some more work to do, okay? We got some more work to do. We're going to have some fun and we're going to really get this thing going. So y'all come on back because you already know. It's going to be the same Dolce Dial and it's going to be the same Dolce Channel. So you make sure you come on back.